Island with details of a scam that preys on those looking for love. You'll learn more. Speaking of love, we love all those who serve this great nation. This week, you can help them and fuel up at the same time. I'll tell you about Fueling Freedom happening Friday. We'll chat with a geologist from the Big Island in Hawaii about Kilauea and why the volcano isn't a reason to not visit. All this and a freebie for fans of the 80s on the way. Celebrating what makes the Wabash Valley unique and entertaining. WTWO's Julie Henricks and Hazel Marie Anderson with Good Day Live, sponsored by Dorset Automotive and the Hoosier Lottery. Good afternoon and welcome. Happy Monday. I'm Hazel Marie Anderson. And I'm Julie Henricks. We're glad you've joined us today. Pet families know that we do about anything for our four-legged family members. You know I would. I know you would. In the case of the Keeman family who love dachshunds, they have a unique situation with one of their pups. All of their dogs have personalities, but there's one that stands out above the rest. NBC's Annie Hertz reports. Well, I like to cuddle, <laughs> and as my husband knows, cuddly, furry, and fierce. Violet is our huntress. Traits Kelly and Ben Kleeman. Oh, you want to go? Love about their dachshunds. She got a squirrel one time, which I thought was incredible. Well, she ate it, and then she promptly threw it up. <laughs> and this is Winston, and he is probably the alpha of the pack. Bella kind of does whatever the other two dogs do. Then there's Little Dipper. Yeah. The wild card Kelly and Ben met two years ago. If a rescue couldn't take him in, he was going to be put down the next day. He could barely hold himself up with his front legs. Not only was he paralyzed, but he also had an active heartworm infection. I didn't think he was going to survive necessarily. And after consulting with my husband and kind of told him that we would be fostering this dog. So I'm also allergic to dogs. Come on, buddy. He pulled through and then he became this super happy, photogenic, goofy dog that he is. Dipper loves the mountains. Come on. Loves hiking. Come on, Dipper. Come on, Dipper. And life. That dog just never gives up. The dog that does not stop. <laughs> Except for cameras. This is Little Dipper Doxy's Instagram account. His tagline is two paws, two wheels, too cute. 5,000 admirers so far. This is when he went and visited some people in a hospital. And more to come. His video won the Boulder Boulder's Boldest Training Buddy Contest. And they said they wanted him to be the grand prize winner and do a victory lap around Folsom Stadium at 1130 uh, after the Boulder Boulder race before the elite athletes come in. <laughs> Cuddly, furry, fierce. I'm gonna run right into the camera. And now a little famous. <laughs> <laughs> Dipper's got it all. You ready to go, buddy? Wait for me, guys. <laughs> How cute! Oh, I love that story. After the joy that Dipper has brought to their household, the Clevelands say that they hope Little Dipper's Instagram account inspires people to adopt pets from animal rescues. You should adopt, you should. that's for sure. And you should also check out all the cute pets on our cutest pet sweepstakes. Oh my goodness. Currently underway on our website. If you've seen oh. that there's 43 pages of pictures. I will tell you, I have found such joy in checking Seriously. out people's pets. So if you get the chance, log on, check out the cute pets. One lucky pet is going to randomly be selected mm -hmm. to win a great prize, Hazel Marie. That's right. One lucky winner will receive a $100 gift certificate from Pet Supplies Plus, $100 gift certificate to Pet Care Animal Hospital. Now, you guys have to enter those pictures before the 28th, and then winner will be announced the 29th. So start... Start uploading at mywabashvalley.com. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> they're cute. Well, still to come, the what, why, and how of Mount Kilauea and the volcano impacting Hawaii. First, we have our own issues around here with oh. heat. Will there be a break this week? Jesse lets us know next. I'm Lou Corey of Corey's Fine Footwear. I just love bringing you new exciting styles. That's what makes us different. Every season is special to us. We handpick our styles and colors and buy limited quantities just to ensure you won't see yourself coming and going. The perfect marriage in shoe buying is keeping you young as possible and as comfortable as possible. This is our goal. You want to brighten your day? Come to Corey's Fine Footwear for some excitement. That's Corey's Fine Footwear, 515 Wabash. Who says you can't love your roof? Introducing the Honest Abe Roofing Executive Collection. The most beautiful, high 
performing and cost-effective roofing systems available on the market. Choose from the Polymod Shingle Collection to the Signature Steel Collection. All guaranteed, you'll never roof again. Start loving your roof today with the Executive Collection by Honest Aid Roofing. All this month, get up to $2,000 bonus cash, plus no payments, no interest for 18 months. What separates the Von Bern Canine Training Center from the rest? When I took him to the other place, it just all fell apart. I stopped and called John, and I've been here ever since. Every time we come, we learn something new, that it's worth every penny, that if they want a dog that's going to behave and be a good dog for the rest of its life, then they need to come to John. Bring your four-legged friend in for a free evaluation today. We offer lifetime obedience courses from trainers with 44 years of experience. All breeds welcome. Call today or visit the Von Bern Canine Training Center located next to Boot City. Welcome back, everyone. For those with gardens, flowers, and things that need watered, I'm pretty sure they would say, bring on some rain. Yeah, it's been dry for a little while now, and the heat's kind of baking that moisture out. So we're going to be talking about rain, but also it tends to knock temperatures down some when it rains. So. And I was just getting ready to add, and if it happens, I'll be happy because it'll be cooler. <laughs> last two or three days, boy, been it's tough. been steamy. It's been steamy, yeah. yeah. So we got some changes on the way. Take a look out there right now that we have lots of sunshine across the area. That's our Graber Post building cam on the south side, 41 and 70. All looks good if you're going to be out this evening. We really don't see much near us right now. Any thunderstorms appear to be developing mostly just north of this area, a few down in Kentucky as well. On the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, one little area up there between Champaign and Danville, but that's really about it. We really don't see much here in the immediate area, but boy, these temperatures are hot once again, and it's not only this, it's the humidity in the air making it feel worse. 91 Terre Haute, now it's 94 over in Flora, Illinois. Here's the way the forecast shakes out for the next several days. Still up to 90 tomorrow, but scattered storms then notice the temperatures drop into the 80s on Wednesday, maybe the upper 70s on Thursday with rain. By the weekend, it looks like some scattered showers and storms, but not as hot highs in the 80s. So the rain comes in, but it's also going to knock those temperatures back down. Today on Good Day Live, we are actually going to travel to Hawaii. Oh, I love Hawaii. It's been the topic of conversation yeah. for a lot of folks with all the volcanic action there with Kilauea. Today, we're joined by a professor of geology and volcanology from the University of Hawaii, Ken Han. Doctor, welcome. We are so glad to have you on the show today. Aloha, and thank you for having me. Let's just jump right in there and talk about the Kilauea volcano and how it compares to other volcanoes. Well, I think when we talk about volcanoes, most people think of the steep-sided volcanoes that we call composite volcanoes, like Mount St. Helens before it erupted in 1980. Those volcanoes erupt explosively, and they're pretty dangerous to be around. Uh, Hawaiian volcanoes are called shield volcanoes, and Kilauea volcano is one of these. They're built by thousands and thousands of eruptions of very fluid lava, like we see going on today. Um, these volcanoes are actually the biggest volcanoes on the planet. They rise 25 to 30,000 feet from the surrounding seafloor, and then just a small part of them is poking above the surface of the ocean. You know, I so this is all part of a natural cycle of building these huge volcanoes. I've had the privilege of going to the Big Island, and I got to tell you, it was one of the most incredible things I've ever experienced as far as vacations go. There may be people watching who are thinking, well, now's, now's not the time to go. It's dangerous. I shouldn't be there. Explain to them how that is and whether or not there are concerns. Well, there, there's no danger to visitors whatsoever right now because the areas that are affected by the volcanic eruption are closed. So the rest of the island is open, though. And so if you're on the rest of the island, you really wouldn't even know that there's this major volcanic eruption going on. Um, and in fact, this eruption is part of an eruption that's been going on for 35 years. It's just that it's moved down so that the vent is underneath a subdivision and the amount of lava coming out has increased substantially on this lower part of the volcano. Oh, wow. So there's still a lot of concern for the residents and people that have been evacuated. And so scientists and officials continue to monitor that area and keep that area so that it's safe. 
You know, and, and, it's, and it is. And the thing is, is I think people, if you haven't been to Hawaii, what you may not understand is that there's, there's several islands here. So you can even book your trip and, and stay in different locations and possibly visit the other side of, of the big island, right? Yeah, that's right. So I just want to reassure people that it's perfectly safe to come to the island of, of, of Hawaii or to any of the other islands in the Hawaiian Islands. So, and as you said, the Kona side or the west side of our island is perfectly safe to visit right now, as well as the Hilo side and most all of the island is still accessible to people. Um, the southern part of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is still open for tourists. And as a matter of fact, there's two towns, Volcano and Pahoa, that are just within a couple miles of the vents. And those towns are still open for business and would love to have people come and visit them. What, what do you find the most fascinating about this whole thing? <laughs> like, as far as, like, what, what do you, like, this is amazing. I, I'm a geologist. I'm a, I'm a volcanologist. Exactly. And then you get to see it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is, uh, I think the only way to put it, this is a historic eruption. This is uh, an event, once in a lifetime opportunity to see something of this size and this scope. And particularly, I think what fascinates a lot of people is to see the images of the volcanic eruption juxtaposed with people's homes and things like that. So it definitely is having a, a significant impact on the people that live in that area, and I don't want to under, underplay that. But actually, it's had a double impact because a lot of people, as you say, have put off their visits to here. And that economically has actually hurt a lot of these people too. So what we'd like to do is keep those people employed, keep people coming, you know, so that, you know, people that have lost their homes at least will still have jobs. It's a, it's a great opportunity to visit and actually help people out during this crisis as well. Well, our thoughts and prayers go to everyone out there, especially those whose homes have been impacted. And uh, we encourage, encourage everyone to, to obviously still visit if you have plans to. And if you never have, I'll tell you what, truly, it was like a religious experience. <laughs> I tell people that all the time. There's nothing like Hawaii when you have the chance to see it. Yeah, Hawaii is a great place to come and visit, and the people here are wonderful, and I think everybody have a great time, and this is an opportunity to actually see something you'll never get a chance to see in your life again. So if you need some more information, there's a great website called GoHawaii.com that'll have information about the eruptive activity as well as other things about visiting the Hawaiian Islands. Well, speaking of Hawaii, there's new stunning video of a river of lava flowing on the big island of Hawaii. The Hawaii National Guard released these images showing lava as it continues to flow from Kilauea Volcano. Now, Friday marked the fifth day in a row there, and there was an actual earthquake above a magnitude of 5.0 at the summit. Now, lava fountains, excuse me, have been gushing up to 130 feet in the air with bursts of 180 feet. Experts are forecasting a heavier layer of air pollution from the eruption to blanket the interior and southern parts of the Big Island through the weekend. Now, the governor's office says the volcano has only destroyed 455 homes, but the island's mayor says the lava has claimed up to 700 homes. Our prayers are with them. Yeah, I feel so sorry for the people there, but the images are just stunning. They I are. They're just stunning. I mean, whew. Yeah. Well, when we return, if you are looking forward to, uh, what is that, Holiday World ticket? It is, yes. actually, yes. And um, <laughs> it, we are going to be giving away a pair again this week, so if you want to enter to win, go to mywabashvalley.com. <laughs> now go. Okay, when we return, if you're looking for love, make sure you aren't looking in all the wrong places, especially online. Romance scams are real, and they can happen. We're going to get tips from our friends at Crane Credit Union and about what to watch for when seeking friendships and relationships. So stay tuned for that. When you're on the road and pass a farmer in the field, do you reflect and think about the hard work and dedication that comes with the job? Through harsh conditions and long hours, farm families prepare, plow, and harvest. Our Wabash Valley Chevy dealers are proud to honor and recognize them. To nominate a hardworking harvester, visit MyWabashValley.com. It's their livelihood to feed the world. It's our job to say thanks. Find your local Chevy dealer at WabashValleyChevy.com. Hi, I'm Becky. I started smoking when I was 16. 
I thought it would make me look so cool and feel so free. Now I have end-stage COPD, and I've had lung surgery, and I'm chained to an oxygen tank. My tip is, if you keep smoking, your freedom may only go as far as your oxygen tube. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT. Back to the basics when it comes to our money. A guy who wrote a book about how millennials should manage their money now says one thing that we all should do is put down the mobile device. Pick up a pen and paper to protect your investments. Details from NBC's Chris Clackham. Even though vast amounts of info pertaining to your personal finances rest in the palm of your hand, there is a new school of thought. Process. Put down the technology here because what we want to do is really be able to change behaviors. Change behavior, according to certified financial planner Douglas Bonaparte, by changing to an old fashioned approach of managing your money. And sometimes using technology is going to give us a shortcut. And this is not the area of personal finance that we want to have a shortcut. Advice the co author of The Millennial Money Fix says may even mean resorting to pen and paper to manage things like your budget, cash flow, and expenses. Not by necessarily just pouring it into a program that is going to use an algorithm or its own artificial intelligence to tell you what you've been doing. Because, he says, no one's developed an app yet that can manage your money better than you. Chris Clackham, NBC News. As part of today's Good Finance, we are so excited to have Michael from Crane Credit Union in studio for a change. Yeah, thanks for having me. We're in the building yeah. for once. Uh, you know, first of all, thank you for what you've done for students all, all year long. Mm -hmm. We do have to say that we've had a great school year. We can't wait till next school year. But in the off season of schooling, you guys uh, deal with sometimes scam issues. And Hazel Marie was telling me about what has recently happened with online romance scams. Yeah, we've had a lot of members come in uh, to the point where it's kind of become an issue where we felt we wanted to put some content out there and address it about people giving money to other people that they don't know because they've developed a bit of a online romance with them. Wow, wow. and this is becoming a, an occurrence, correct? Yeah, we see instances of this every day at, at our branches, either by uh, people coming in and telling us their story or coming in to deposit checks that are fraudulent, and it's just become a problem, and as we researched it more, we thought, this is something that people need to know about and be aware of. Well, and I know it's it's your job to educate all of your members and make sure that they know about these types of things. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's just start with with what people should consider if they are being approached by someone they don't know personally mm -hmm. to give them money. What are some some things to think about? Well, the first rule is don't give money to someone that you don't know. And that applies not only to the online dating part, but also we have instances where people will prey on the elderly and trying to get money from them so the key rule if you don't know what's going on or you don't know the person personally just don't give them money it's a bad idea this one I do like it's if it seems too good to be true <laughs> then it probably is Absolutely. Right? in many of these cases people are just preying on uh, people's empathy and in some cases just the fact that they're just seeking somebody online to develop a friendship with or a courtship with and people just get enamored with it and they'll do anything that the person tells them to do in this day and age of social media and and communicating through emails and texts I think that can happen because you're looking and seeking mm -hmm. obviously that socialization and and wow if it seems too good to be true then it probably is now another thing you mentioned is don't don't use like you know mom and pop shops for dating mm -hmm. you really need to stick with the the ones that are reputable right right you want to stick with reputable sites things that have a a, a long trust relationship or like eHarmony or uh, ChristianMingle.com is another one that we see a lot and usually if people do meet people on these sites 
which, are, which is perfectly fine, but try to stick to the communication on those sites. Usually when people are trying to do something mischievous or fraudulent, they'll try and take you off the site and try and contact you through another means, and that's usually when things go awry. Yeah. And this way it protects you because if something were to happen, you can like call or email the site and go, hey, think this is a weirdo, yeah. you know, and they're out there, <laughs> they Lord sure. knows. And, and, and if you become a victim, because it's, it's happened to a lot of people, what are the resources that people need to take? Well, they can always contact the credit union. That's what we're here for. We're here to help answer questions and give people the, the best course of action that they can take. Uh, usually, you, the FBI does request that you contact them with all the relevant information so they can open a case. But uh, call us first. We'll, we'll get you started on the right path. You guys have a great website, and people can visit there and find out more about this as well. Mm -hmm. True? Yeah, it's on our website. Again, you can give us a call or visit any of our branches, and our staff has seen it all, so they'd be more than happy to help. Well, we appreciate you taking the time to come in and talk about that. Uh, CraneCU.org, by the way, is the website if you're looking for that information. <laughs> good. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Good knowledge. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 it's, it's scary to me that people do this and take yeah. advantage of people. But it's it's a good thing to ask questions, and no question is a dumb question. So absolutely not. All right, Michael, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So excited about the relationship we have with you. With the, I still have kids come up to me or teachers and say, "Man, I love what Crane is doing, uh, and it has made a big difference in a lot of lives." So thank you. Well, we're already planned for next year, so we yes. can't wait. Thank <laughs> you for your time, thank and you. stay with us. We got a lot more to come on Good Day Live. Don't miss the summer kickoff sales event going on right now at the Sullivan Automotive Group. Get 0% financing for 72 months and no one gives you more for your trade. Save 19% off MSRP on a new GMC Terrain. Save 20% off a new Chevy Camaro. And save 25% off a new Chevy Silverado Z71. Sullivan is your home for pre owned value since 2006. The summer kickoff sales event on US 41 North and at ShopSullivanAuto.com. You've been dreaming about a forever build. It's time to wake up and get one. Choose from one of our most popular models. Get the 740 square foot hobby farm for just $199 per month. Step up to the honeydew. 1,200 square feet of pure marital bliss for $268 per month. Need a man cave? How about a mansion cave? 2,500 square feet for just $503 per month. Step outside the box using your own design with our dreamer package. Call by the end of this month and get concrete floors for no additional charge. Stop dream. Get your forever building today. An update on the big derailment in southern Indiana, how the youngest of us cool off in this heat, and why the lieutenant governor was in Beagle County all at six. Well, we're here at Country Mark, and we have a hot pizza pie. I'm here with Curtis Bodine, and you know what? Let's chat over pizza about something amazing that's going on soon. Fueling for Freedom, what exactly is that? Yes, that is... Uh the local promotion with Country Mark and Sears Solutions uh, that we do every year. This will be our third year, it's the tenth year for the program, and this will be Friday, June 22nd from noon to five. Fifty cents from every gallon pumped will be donated to the National Guard Readiness Fund, um, and we're super excited to be a part of it again this year. We always love being a part of this. Um, there'll be National Guard families and Sears Solution employees and Country Mark employees out pumping gas here at Country Mark and Hoagie House at 9950 South US Highway 41, right at the corner of Harlan and 41, from noon to 5 on the 22nd. And every gallon that's pumped between noon and 5 that day, 50 cents will go to the National Guard readiness. Personally, how does it make you feel? You've been doing this for a while to know that all local, like the, when people come and pump their gas, it's staying local. What is that feeling to see that something great is going towards a good cause? Yeah. It's great. You know, um, we have loved being part of the Country Mark family and the Sierra Solutions family. Um, it's a different feeling knowing that all of the gas pumped here comes is refined in Indiana. The oil wall comes out of the ground in the Ohio Valley. And Country Mark does a great job of giving back, and that's what this is about. And um, it's also giving back locally. We uh, work with local National Guard readiness funds, and these money goes directly to them. Uh, it goes, and w that money is used for needs of the family. Uh, when soldiers deploy, oftentimes those left behind are left to figure out how to 
handle all of the situations that we all handle every day, but they've got their main breadwinner in lots of cases uh, deployed. And so this money is used to help the families uh, when they need help. And normally we don't even hear about that. You know, we hear that soldiers go off and the family is left behind. And unfortunately, our communities, we tend to forget that. But this is something special. We're not only saying thank you to our soldiers, but we love you to the family. That's correct. Right. That is. Um, last year, this uh, Fueling Freedom with Country Mark raised over $50,000. That was given uh, to national, different National Guard readiness funds. Um, here locally, you know, we're hoping to beat our last year's total. We would love the most highest producing station last year raised about $2,500, uh, pumped over 5,000 gallons. We wow. would love, you know, to be in the running for that this year in the hunt. Uh, it will be going on both here at Country Mark and Hoagie House and the Prairie Creek Country Mark. Uh, at both locations, we have Piccadilly Pizza, and here we have Hoagie House Subs. Uh, we'll be giving out samples. Um, there are also people can come in and register to win a $150 gift card. I was card. just about to ask That's that. Right. There's so many perks to coming in, fueling up. You need gas to get around. Why mm. not do it for a good cause? That's right. Once again, what day is that again? June 22nd. And from then noon to five. There you go. I was about to ask that June twenty second from noon to five. Come on out to either locations and fuel up for freedom. That's Thanks right. so much for joining me. I think You're we welcome. should just dig in. Absolutely, this looks good. it looks delicious, and we'll be giving out samples of all the specialty <laughs> ones next week too. Thanks so much, You're welcome. Thank guys. You. Stick with us. We have plenty more to come on Good Day Live. Good Day Live is brought to you by DorsetAutomotive.com. For a better experience and live market value pricing, go to DorsetAutomotive.com. Check out all of your options on new Hyundais, Nissans, Mitsubishis, and Fords. It's all right here at DorsetAutomotive.com, so give us a try before you buy. Well, this week, friends, oh, we're going to get a lot yeah. of entries, I have a feeling, because we're giving away a pair of tickets to see none other than Pat Benatar. Oh, my gosh. She will be down at the French Lick Resort on Thursday, July 5th, showtime 8 o'clock. She is appearing as with her husband. This is good. I did not know that Neil Giraldo was her husband. I didn't I, know that we're together. Know, I didn't know either. I mean, clueless. You, you know, know everything. This guy, you probably are like, who the heck's <laughs> Neil? Well, Neil has written all of her hits, apparently. And then hits for, like, Rick Springfield, our meteorologist's very favorite song, Jesse's Girl. Jesse's Girl. <laughs> I've done everything for you. That's Good also song. another one. Kenny Loggins, he's written for. Anyway, the two of them together, July 5th. We got a pair of tickets. You could go to the show. Also, we have a book, first in line by author Kate Anderson Brower. No, Brower. Brower, excuse mm -hmm. me. We'll talk with her this week about the book and what inspired her to even write it. It looks like a really good It book. really is. We, of course, have the uh, $20 worth of scratch off tickets from the Hoosier Lottery. And from our friends at Pepsi, we, we're changing things we, up. We're switching it up. We're not giving away mugs. We're not giving away <laughs> Vita Nourished Waters. We're giving you a case. Well, I shouldn't say case. Well, a six pack. pack. Yeah. It's a six pack. Six pack. A six pack of, of water. Of water. From Pepsi. So all of this could be yours. To win all of it, all you have to do is log on to mywabashvalley.com, click on the Good Day Live tab, scroll down to that Friday Freebie logo, and that is where you register to win. And you need that water. It's, it's hot. It's good. It's, and it's good stuff. It is good. Life you, water is pretty yummy. It is.
All right, so you got all that coming your way. Thanks for joining us today. Tomorrow we'll spend time with dancing pro Derek Hoff. He's so handsome. You know him from World of Dance on NBC, yeah. but now he's teaching people to dance in their living room. Oh my goodness. Now he's not actually coming to your house. I thought we should Dang clear, it. clarify that. <laughs> he is, however, offering um, Dance tutorial classes. DVD kind of things that you can take. Yeah, so we could be dancing pros. We could be. <laughs> you and me. And Derek. And Hoff. Derek. <laughs> Until tomorrow, my friends, we both hope you have a good day. <laughs>